I'm going to be showing you how to get free with boot on your PS2 without any stupid pens or USB drives, whatever you call them, in your PS2 or any swap disc magic memory card trick genie from the bottle crap, right? This is how you do it. All you need is a HDD network adapter, that's upside down, quality, and a HDD that's compatible. There will be a list that I'll put up that will show you what's compatible, what's not. It's all we do with serial numbers, it's a lot of crap, but it's I've wasted so much money and getting different ones. This is the ones that work for me. So let's get into it. First of all, you're going to need is obviously these two. You're going to need an adapter to plug this into your PC. And what you need, it needs to be powered. So it'll be something like this, which is 12 euros, even though I'm in Scotland, and that's irrelevant. Uh, it's on eBay for four pounds. So something like that that connects this to the computer, so you can upload it, upload this, the, the firmware into your computer. So let's get into it and. Try not make it like, like a tutorial, but if you want me to make a tutorial, leave a comment and I might, so thanks, and we'll get to the desktop. Right guys, so I've got my hard drive plugged into my computer, and now I'm on one hip program used to add the games or homebrew to your hard drive, which will go in your PC, your PS2 for free mate boot. So that's the games I've got on it just now, just a few games here and there, you know, FIFA 06, Tony Ox Underground, Burnout 3, and Pro Evil, or Winning a Living. Japanese version of Pro Evo, don't know why I picked that version, it's just the exact same game, and in fact it's in English. Right, I'm going to download Kingdom Hearts, it's going to take a while, so let's skip this, and we'll get on to WinHip, so here we go, we're going to add in Kingdom Hearts, the USA version, which is the NTSC, and we're going to put it onto a PAL console, and possibly play it in HD, so here we go, it's, oh, it takes a few minutes to do this, so I'll skip the video and we'll come back and we'll look at the PS2 and insert the hard drive. Right, so here's the PS2. This is the one from part one. I'm going to be putting a hard drive in it and uh, we'll show you what's happening. It's obviously not. This is the one from part one. This is the one that's got the good paint job. And here's the back. I'm going to put my adapter into my hard drive, put it in and make sure it's tight. I use a 50 pence piece to put it in, but you can use a screwdriver if you've got one. Make sure that that's tight because you want a good connection. So I've put it in before and I've realised why is it not working? It's because I've not tightened it up properly. So once I do that, I'll put it on the computer on the Elgato and I'll show you in live action. Right, I'm gonna just turn on the PS2 and we'll see the menu of Freemate Boot. We should come up Freemate Boot any second now. Hopefully. And you see I've added the second screen just to show you that it's on my TV screen. And there will be a slight lag or delay because Elgato naturally it has a wee delay, a three second delay on it. So here's the menu, I'm just going to browse through it. You get system configuration, new launch, HDD, ESR, open PS2, open PSL GSM, GSM mode selector, HDL dump, MC, blah blah blah, emulators, anything you want you can do on this. You can add more, there is more on a website and yeah, you can get loads of more stuff that actually do something but right now I don't have a clue what they all do I just know that one of them is the one I'm after which is open PS2 loader so I'm going to go into that and we'll see the games list that I've got Here's, here's my games, I've got Burnout 3, FIFA 06, Getaway, Black Monday Kingdom Hearts, Rayman, Tony Hawk's Underground, Twisted Metal Black, and uh, World Soccer Winning 11 9, which is just Pro Evo 2006, I think. And then you see that screen, and that shows you that the game is actually working. So here we go, there's loaded up. Kingdom Hearts, no disc, perfect. Just with the hard drive, just with a free mate boot, I urge anyone who's got a PS2 to do it. And it also helps that you get some wireless controllers because it makes it feel much newer and the games back then were properly made, they're not just made to look good, they're made to actually give you a hard game such as this. Uh, so I'm just going to show you a wee bit of footage, see what you think, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, cheers.